In the previous video I discussed how to compute the sigmoid function, the logistic function used as a sigmoid function in artificial neural networks. Uh, so this was the formula, I actually used an alternate formula for the implementation. Uh, this is the plot of the logistic function. And uh, today I'm uh, going to focus on computing the derivative of uh, this function. And in this site, uh, I'm going to share the link. Uh, there is a computation uh, of the derivative, uh, but for the actual implementation, we are uh, interested in the final formula. And of course, there may be uh, multiple equivalent formulas, but I'm going to use for the implementation uh, this formula. So the derivative of the sigmoid function is actually uh, the sigmoid of x uh, times 1 minus uh, sigmoid of x. So uh, in artificial neural networks you usually uh, have to passes, the forward pass, where you compute the activation function, so the sigmoid of x, and then the backward pass, where uh, you compute the derivative. So usually you would already have uh, the sigmoid computed, so I'm going to write a function that uh, assumes you have the sigmoid of x and then uh, will only compute the derivative. Uh, but if you also want to compute the derivative, the sigmoid, uh, please watch the previous video. I will leave a link in the description for the entire function. So, actually, here uh, this is the file that I shown you in the previous video with uh, the sigmoid computation, and I've added a new function for the derivative. Uh, and, uh, as I said, it expects in uh, RDI the address uh, of uh, sigmoid of x, of the result uh, of applying the previous function. So this must already uh, be computed. And in uh, RSI, uh, the address where we want to store the output. And the formula for this is uh, sigmoid of x times 1 minus sigmoid of x. And uh, this is quite straightforward using uh, 8087 floating point instructions. Uh, so I'm starting by uh, pushing the already computed sigmoid uh, on the stack with nest 0. Uh, then I'm uh, pushing 1, so the registers look like this, ST0 is 1, ST1 is the uh, sigmoid of x. Uh, I'm uh, pushing again uh, the sigmoid of x from ST1 uh, on the stack, so now we have uh, sigmoid of x, 1, and again sigmoid of x. Uh, FCH S is an uh, instruction that changes the sign, so now we have minus sigmoid of x, 1 and sigmoid of x. Then I'm adding with op uh, the first two values, so now we have uh, in ST0 1 minus uh, sigmoid of x and in ST1 uh, sigmoid of x. And I'm performing a multiplication again with pop. So now uh, in ST0 we'll have uh, sigmoid of x times uh, 1 minus sigmoid of x. And this is uh, the actual result that uh, we wanted to obtain. So now all we need is to store this uh, result in memory, the address in RSI. And again, I've extended a small test program. <coughs> I have a loop here that goes over the numbers in this uh, data float variable. 
this is here so I have uh, values from minus 1 to plus 1 uh, and if you want you can add uh, additional values here uh, and in uh, data result uh, we'll store first the sigmoid and then we'll reuse this for computing the derivative so I have here uh, this uh, procedure test sigmoid uh, which is from the last time which calls uh, f32 sigmoid and stores the result uh, in data result and then uh, I've written this new procedure test sigmoid derivative uh, which starts by displaying uh, sigmoid derivative message equals uh, and uh, we'll point both uh, RSI and RDI to uh, data results so it assumes that uh, it already contains uh, the computed uh, sigmoid value and then calls uh, the function and displays uh, the result okay so let's build the program and see what happens so now uh, for each value starting with minus 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 uh, plus 0 0.2 uh, plus 0 0.5 plus 1 uh, it shows uh, the sigmoid value and the derivative value okay and um, I will also place uh, in the description a link to this website which also shows a plot of the derivative and you can also test uh, here uh, for various uh, values and see uh, what the derivative uh, looks like and of course it corresponds to what uh, we computed so I hope you found this feel this video interesting if you did please like and subscribe and see you next time bye